Hello everybody, it's UXW Bill here again. I want to make a brief little video. I'm actually doing this over my lunch break, so I've got to keep it kind of short because I'm almost out of time here. Late last week, around February 12th, uh, 13th or so, YouTube user Weasel2HTM brought something rather shocking to my attention. Uh, see, I have a personal website that I have maintained for several years. I actually serve it uh, straight out of my house over my DSL connection, and then I use a dynamic DNS service to combat the effect of my IP address wandering around as my internet service provider assigns me a different IP. Well, a very interesting thing took place and uh, YouTube user Weasel2HTM said that uh, I'd better look at my website that there was a very disturbing notice on it. So I went there and I took a look and lo and behold there was this uh, there was this big fancy graphic that showed up. This startling looking graphic. It's just the kind of thing if I had to describe it it would be like this fake antivirus software that some of you may have some familiarity with. <clears throat> anyway it uh, had a couple of badges supposedly representing United States government entities, uh, in particular the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Department, or ICE, as it's called. And what it said at the bottom was that, uh, you know, this, this domain has been seized due to trafficking in uh, child pornography, more or less. Well, that was extremely startling because I can assure you that I have never and would never have anything to do with such a disgusting and horrific crime against children or anyone else for that matter. And so I was like, this has to be a mistake. Well, it turns out that more than just my subdomain of my personal website was affected by this. Some 84,000 other people who also had subdomains on moo.com, that's M-O-O-O dot -O -O com, were also impacted by this. And at the time, uh, I did a little bit of research and, you know, found out what was going on here and why it was happening because this was extremely alarming. And I made a post to my blog. I have a blog that I update uh, very rarely. That's right there. Anyway, um, I made a post on a, a very, uh, very anger-driven post. I was just furious. I couldn't believe that, that someone would really think that I'd have anything to do with such a heinous and horrific crime. And I, I knew it had to be some kind of a mistake, so I contacted the people at freedns.afraid.org to try and find out what was going on and things like that. Well, one of the things that I wrote um, concerns the head of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Department, a man by the name of John Morton. And uh, I, I basically told him, with all due respect, to F off, you know, that, that I really didn't have any use for this because I was really in high gear. You know, a lot of you people have never seen me really get angry. And I am most definitely a closet rager of the first order. That is to say, I don't exhibit my temper, temper much in public, but in private, oh boy, you'd better watch out. If I get mad, I'm going to let somebody have it in private. So anyway, um, I left it at that. Well, today is uh, February 18th, Friday, February the 18th, and uh, one of the sites that I read fairly regularly is the register, Biting the Hand That Feeds IT. If you're in the IT business, uh, you probably read the register too. I tend to have a lot of respect for their journalism. And finally, this little event made the news on the register. I know you can't read this, but if you go to their site, you can definitely see the whole article. And it talks about how the unprecedented domain seizure shutters 84,000 sites. And um, it says down here, by Sunday evening, Moo.com was restored. But by then the damage was done. Not only had 84,000 websites been silenced for 72 hours, a term lawyers call prior restraint, with no legal authority, but it was going to take another day or so for the world's domain name servers to reflect the change in tables most people use to access the sites. And then it goes on to say, Condemnation in the move by ICE, which is overseen by director John Morton, was swift and scathing. And I'm actually quoted in the article, which is pretty far out, um... I, what I really want to do, I don't want to vilify Mr. Morton or anybody else because I'm sure he's just trying to do his job. But what I want to make very clear, I want, I want people to get involved with their government. I'm not a very political person. In fact, there are two things that I really don't discuss with other people, politics and religion both. But I think people need to know what's going on and I think they need to give some feedback to their government officials. And therefore, you know, I, I want you to do some research on this and I want you to be an informed person. I've already written a letter that I intend to send to Mr. Morton because, frankly, I want an apology. You know, the ac leveling an accusation of dealing in uh, child pornography is, uh, is a horrific thing to do. 
And whether you're guilty of it or not, it can have consequences that follow you around for years. And quite frankly, I don't want anything to do with that. In fact, comments on this uh, video are going to be by moderation only. So don't come around here and be stupid because, number one, I will ban you. Number two, I won't put up with abject stupidity. And number three, if you're going to accuse me of anything that I didn't do, you better get ready for some trouble. But I just thought this was kind of an interesting thing that took place, and I would definitely encourage you to write Director John Morton of the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Department. You can do this. I'm going to put the address down in the, uh, down in the description area on this video. You can write him uh, Director John Morton, uh, care of ICE, I-C-E, in Washington, D.C., zip code 20536. And uh, like I say, don't do anything stupid. You know, don't, don't try to threaten the man. Don't do anything like that. Just tell him, you know, if, if you're of the opinion that what he did was inappropriate and that, you know, he should have followed due process of law and things like that, you know, please, please let him know that. Just write him a letter. I already have. I intend to mail it to him. I've basically told the man I want an apology. And I don't know if I'll get one or not, but that's the entire story behind the whole thing. And I'd like to give a big thank you to YouTube user Weasel2HTM, who was kind enough to point out that my, uh, my website had been replaced by this ominous-sounding notice.